All right. Guys, welcome to our Labor Day episode of Marks on the Grill. Today is all about serving a whole lot of people all at once because, man, that's what it's all about. It's all about the, the Teamsters and the labor guys and getting up in the morning and getting the job done and building our roads and building our buildings. And, man, salute to you. Thank you. Well done. All these meals are for you. Uh, for the rest of us, it's the last weekend of summer, and it sucks. <laughs> so here's what I'm going to do. I got the last of my hamburger here. Brown up for my chili, because man, nothing will serve a crowd like chili. Love it, get all that worked in. Guys, chili's easy, man. You just get that ground beef uh, uh, browned, throw some spices in there, and uh, this guy's perfect. These tailgaters, love it, because it's got a burner on one side, so you can do everything you normally do on a grill on one side, and then get everything nice and hot, your uh, fish fries, your chilies, whatever, on that side. So look at this here, you guys. Nice and quick. There we go. Love it. That in. Now, Labor Day is a lot more special to people than Brussels sprouts and chili. So you know what? We did some kind of fun for you, man. You're gonna love this. Let me get this guy going. Get this bacon in there. It'll start to crisp and separate. Get our uh, little bit of a char on our Brussels sprouts. By the way, you can blanch these first if you want to. It just makes this part quicker entirely up to you. But if you'll notice behind me, I have my Charbroil 3-in-1. And we sold that on HSN for about eight, nine, 10 years. It's still an item there. This was the original, man. Everybody loves this item and you're gonna love it now. Cause watch this, you can smoke in this bad boy. Come here, no kidding you guys, here you go. Here is brisket and a pulled pork just for you guys, right? Cause you get the job done. So follow me over here. There we go. Man, I love this. I'm gonna grab my very well used, looks dirty, but they're clean hot hands, like that. And I'm gonna put that cloth on the ground there cause it was annoying me. Well, let's go ahead and bring, <laughs> bring the brisket over here. By the way, you wanna see something? And it's still bubbling away. That is a bark. <coughs> so here we go, we'll pull pork in the bottom here. And I am gonna show you something so cool. By the way, the cleanup, fantastic. All right, so here we go. Let me go ahead and put that here. Now, oh, I wonder how we tell if it's done. I'm gonna try that way. That's done. <laughs> Isn't that great? So let's go ahead and we'll get this guy served up, I tell you. Um, oh, by the way, the chili, ain't no chili until it's got cheese. Now it's chili. <laughs> okay, here we go. But Labor Day for most people is just that kind of last uh, hoo at the lake, that last go around camping, you know what I mean? It's just that, uh, that final farewell to summer is what it's all about. So let's go ahead here. I'm having a knife flown in. All right, let's go ahead here and uh, cut into this brisket, man. So when you're cutting into a brisket, you wanna make sure that you go against the grain, which is that away. All right, here we go, guys. Listen, it's all about the bark. It's all about that tender, juicy, you gotta be kidding me result. It's why we take the time. It's why we take the effort. It's why we dedicate eight, nine, ten years, uh, ten years, well that's a good freaking brisket. Ten hours of our lives to this brisket. It's for that smoke ring. It's for that bark. It's for that crust. And it's for this. You ready? Here's what it's all about. Watch, watch, watch close. Oh. All right, so let's go ahead. We got a few slices there to get ready for sandwiches. By the way, if you want to test the brisket, let me show you a great way to test the brisket to make sure it's done, okay? I'm going to get a bit uh, thicker piece here. A brisket should break with the weight of its own. You get the other. Guys, that brisket's done and it's perfect. I'm telling you, man, Charbroil has figured out their smokers. I got a big, listen, I got one of those big monster ones that you pull behind your vehicle. Uh, my lovely working the camera wife got it for me for Christmas, and I love it. But that's a commitment, man. That's your Sunday. Don't plan anything else, okay? <laughs> With charbroil smokers, you get those same results, which angers me a little bit. <laughs> but you get them without any effort at all. So look at this, guys. I've got my char happening. Ooh, that is pretty. That bacon's gonna crisp up the color that pops from Brussels sprouts. Even though when I was a kid, if I was forced to eat these, I would gag and cry for a week. When you make them this way, man, that's good stuff. You know what it means? It means I don't like Brussels sprouts. It means I like crispy bacon. That's what that means. <laughs> let's go ahead and push that to the side and let's talk pulled pork. Guys, this crust, and if you can see this here, 
Do you see how thick that is? That's time and love, babies. That's what that is right there. That's time and love. Just let it go. It'll happen. It's not going to happen quick, but it'll happen. And when your fork can go, oh, you did it right. Because when you go ahead and you start pulling this and shredding this, those crispy outsides mixed with that melt in your mouth, 10 hour smoked pulled pork, oh my God, I love you, marry me again, sandwich. This is the way to do it, boy, let me tell you. In fact, let's go ahead and make one of these. <laughs> All right, uh, what do I need here? I need you, like the sun needs the rain. Oh, a little bit of pork, a little bit of coleslaw, because what's the point without it? And pretty sure that fly has been guarding my barbecue sauce quite nicely. Thank you, sir. Hi, guys. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, my God, what did I do? <laughs> Daisy. <laughs> Perfect. All right, guys, so here we go. This is what it's all about. Let me go ahead and put this together for you. When it comes time to wrap up the summer, finish everything up, tell your stories about all the places you've been, the food you ate, man, there's no better way to do it than with big food. Like I said, that's what Labor Day was all about, getting together, feeding the, uh, feeding the crowds so they can get out there, do their thing, make America move, making it fly, making it drive, making it sing. So my hat's off to the Teamsters, my hat's off to the union guys, my hat's off to everybody that we celebrate on Labor Day. And listen, if your way of celebrating is a bowl of chili, a little bit of a sandwich, some pulled pork and a brisket, well, you know what? No problem, because where I come from, you can't do this kind of Labor Day food wrong. Enjoy your weekend, everybody. We'll see you next time on Marks on the Grill.